Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your first style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Pick a class. Mercenary. Deadeye. Commando. Cypher. Saboteur. Sentinel. Mercenary. Mercenary chosen. Sounds good. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your... Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Seems more like you're being light-headed, if you ask me, but you'll come around, eventually. But what comes around goes all the way back around. So, it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. In your nature? And here I was hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest, and so forth. Now, if that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Natural selection is all about evolution and progress, and as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear! Right is always right. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the Predator only grew stronger. to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes.
The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Good thing you're strong. The oil sludge is everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its way. Those are the kind of things you need.
Emergency box from the once was a rare sight. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Now that's what I call a blade.
could experiment with that. No, really, I mean it. Biomatter in their multi organ that they shed under distress blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Like a little exercise. <laughs> Toxinol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Just a few moves left, make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. 
They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left, make them count. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Oh, that was a bad guy. That might come in handy. That'll come in handy. Ilya Antufkuzata Ghetto. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure Adu Awa Ya Ea Farfarifto Tuga Kubu. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. Kong Reaper. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. Adu Awa Ya Ea Ewe Bobuye. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. Le ya yato. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. Ya Yumawa Ayamuaya. The child could have been anyone. But the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. Muk Bebuk. How Lupa Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the park. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. 
your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Had it Asks if you were tired as it <laughs> you're <laughs> The potato people or nono are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little <laughs> The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of her. You found <coughs> the Nono's key energy is just what the Pensine. <coughs> the small tree you saw up there where you met. <coughs> you need to. <coughs> you need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The He's grateful for all the help he can get. But to Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this, one day the land won't be. You can already see the effects from how reckless those. Be he says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. <laughs> he lost you there for a while, but no memory is a... He says he remembers every single day he devoted Maoto The tree started to die when the end of days began. Kim Hobe Bekuku Hivad Muk. Records tell of the ruinous devastation. 
His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the world. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree is His friends have prepared something specific for each World Eater. The Mekton, the Octopod, the Majut and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the Tribe War and the situation with the world. is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Know that the Tree of Life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. <laughs> <laughs> 